like this. What is BAB? And uh, which point is Now, can we answer the which point is at the higher potential even before doing the actual number? Which, which, guys, uh, which point do you guys think is at the higher potential? The current is flowing this way, this way, and then the current is going down, right? So if I were to go from A to B, I would be going against the current. Currents never flow from lower potential to higher potential. If the current is flowing this way, it must mean it's flowing from a higher to a lower. It has to. So uh, this point B is at a higher. Now, here's what you can do. You can find the VAB many different, uh, three different ways. You can go this way to find the VAB. You can go up this way to find the VAB. Or you can go this way to find the VAB. It should give you the same. OK, so B is at a higher potential. So VB minus VA is going to equal the potential difference between point B and point A is going to equal what? Well, let's see. I'm going to show you it doesn't matter what route we take. If we go this route, up the battery and this one, what happens? If we go, uh, that's good. we're going to gain 9 volts, then we're going to lose. I1 won, uh, I won times uh, 12, right? What was the current going through the 12 ohm resistor? So look back at the circuit that we got and 0.5. So that's going to be, uh, that's a 6, 3 volts. So notice that is plus 3 volts, positive 3 volts. So that means VB is at a higher potential. VB minus VA is uh, positive. Now, if we do the other route, so this, this second one is going to be the, the direct route up this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go against the current. So I'm going upstream. So I have to roll, you know. I'm going to build muscle. All right, I have to go upstream, upstream. So now I'm going to gain potential positive 10 I3. So what was the current going through that? Did we, did we calculate that? It was what? 0.3. So I should get 3 volts, right? And then if you do the other way, this way, well, again, you're going against the current flow, you see? So you're going to be 15 times the current going through that, so it's going to be plus again. So I must have been like, uh, let's, no, no, 15, sorry. 15 times, and the current going through that was 0.2, right? So that's all three. I could also take this path. I mean, I could go crazy. I could go up this, right, against this current, against that current, again, with that current, and I should still get positive three. In other words, potential energy is a conservative force, right? So uh, no matter what path you take, it's path independent. It's kind of like saying, let's say I'm, on, I'm at this point on this campus. If I take any closed path, 
around this campus, it doesn't matter what path I take, I should end up at the same energy, same potential energy that I am. So if I go towards McDonald's, let's say, and I want to have lunch there, which reminds me, I'm probably going to go there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. So if I go towards McDonald's, I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down the stairs there. I'm going to lose potential energy. Then I'm going to keep walking, parking lot. I'm going to lose potential energy, uh, and then just keep. And then there, I think you go down a little bit more, lose potential energy. Then I gain potential energy coming back, coming back. Or well, then I come back to the same height. Okay. How about if I decide to go to the bungalows? Okay. Uh, I have some stuff at the admissions office or whatever, so some of the stuff there. So I walk there. Again, no matter where I go, if I come back, I'm going to be at the same potential. Well, same idea here. If I go between points A and B, between this point and between any other point on campus, and it doesn't matter what path I take, I should get the same potential energy difference. Okay? So the same thing is true with electrical potential as with potential energy, as with gravitational potential energy. Okay, uh, now how about if you have a circuit